This fall, Jewish News One has launched a new monthly award designed to recognize the efforts of individuals working to support Jewish life across the world. The JN1 Jewish Activism Award seeks to acknowledge the role of these individuals in building a better Jewish future. December's award is going to Imam Hassan Shalgumi for his efforts to build bridges between French Jewish and Muslim communities. He's an imam with a passion for interfaith dialogue. Hassan Chalgoumi is imam of a Drancy mosque in the northeast suburbs of Paris. Considered by the media as a model of moderate Islam, he has distinguished himself for his efforts to reach out to the Jewish community, a mission that has won him as much praise as criticism from members of the Muslim community. Imam Hassan Shalgumi, it is my pleasure to present you with a December 2013 Jane One Jewish Activism Award. Thank you very much. Shukran jazeera. Let's not forget that I am the Imam of Drancy, the site of the deportation camp where 90% of French Jews were deported by the Nazis in the name of barbarism and hatred towards anyone that was different and didn't share the same religion. Charles Gumi made headlines in February when he invited 30 Imams to the Drancy Memorial in an effort to improve Islam's image and to spell concerns within the Jewish community. I found the Jewish community to be sincere like me. I don't waffle. I'm not a politician. I'm a man of religion and a father. When I leave my house to go to the mosque, I walk past the old train and the memorial. And each time I'm reminded of the constant need to be vigilant against racism. I fully share the history. It's not only the history of the Jewish people. It's our history. His latest initiative has been to invite the ambassador of Bahrain to the Drans Memorial in what has been called a historic visit. But some Muslims resent Shalgumi's interfaith efforts. Why such a fuss? Because I shake hands with a Jew, because I travel to Israel and the Palestinian territory, because I say that the conflict should not be imported to France. I never thought that in France there was a minority of people who don't believe in anything, who mix everything up, and who, unfortunately, are confused. Despite his work to break down religious barriers, record numbers of Jews are leaving France and blaming Muslim anti-Semitism, a hostility that Shalgumi knows only too well. He and his family regularly receive threats from radical Muslims, who consider him to be an imam for the Jews. They've threatened me several times and I haven't left Drancy. You too, you shouldn't leave, otherwise it will be like they've won. It would be like the Nazis and Hitler have won. We won't abandon Europe. Some critics blame the Quran for inciting violence against Jews. There is a minority who use the Quran for political purposes and for purposes which had nothing to do with Islam nor with the ideas of the Prophet, and they will always remain a minority. But radical Muslim groups are now exploiting the Internet to recruit new members. We all have to fight against websites that preach hatred and barbarism. Our children are the ones who are victims of propaganda and manipulation. The Jewish community has to be vigilant and alert authorities so that together we can combat those websites of hatred and racism, which recruit international jihadists. But standing up to denounce Muslim fundamentalism has put Shalgumi at risk. Last summer, he was attacked in Tunisia by a radical Islamist. His work in favor of interfaith dialogue has put him at risk and under 24-hour police protection. But Hassan Shalgumi refuses to be intimidated by a small group of radical Muslims who contest his proximity with the Jewish community. By choosing to accept the JN1 Jewish Activism Award, he has sought to promote an Islam of peace and unity. Stay tuned to Jewish News 1 for more updates on the next JN1 Jewish Activism Award. This is Christina Rakello for JN1 in France.